Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll share my top 5 baby essentials that, that actually saved my life in my first year of motherhood. Many of them we're still using now although my daughter is already almost 2 years old. I'll be talking more about some expensive stuff like furniture because I think that these are the products where you actually ask yourself if I should invest money in them. So if you are interested in this topic then continue watching and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe down below. Okay, so let's start with the furniture and then move on to the smaller things. There are two chairs that I actually adore and that saved my life. The first one is the Babyon Bouncer chair. I actually loved this bouncer for its design. It's a very lightweight bouncer, so you can carry it with you all over your apartment. You can take it with you to your vacation if you're driving with a car somewhere. We actually started using it when my daughter was three months old. In the first three months she didn't like it because she was a very small baby and I think she felt insecure in it. But after three months it actually saved my life because all of the time when she was tired of lying on her back or on her tummy I put her in the bouncer and either she bounced in it uh, or she played with the toys. We also had like some uh, plastic toys which you could attach to the bouncer. I will also link it down below if you are interested in it. It's not made extra for this bouncer. You can use these toys on your car seat, on your baggage, so wherever you want. And my daughter really liked them. So at least 15 to 30 minutes she could play with them sitting in the bouncer. And for a young mother that's actually a lot of time where you can do some other stuff for yourself. Actually I used this bouncer a lot in the bathroom because when I wanted to take a shower and I had nobody to leave my daughter with and I took her with me uh, into the bathroom but you know when when your baby is for example lying on the floor on the carpet or on the tummy or on its back um, you actually have to keep an eye on it um, the whole time and you can not relax and you cannot enjoy your shower like even for five minutes but I put my daughter into the bouncer and I knew that she was safe that she is bouncing because she is playing with the toys and I could have like this five minutes in the shower for myself but actually this bouncer is still in our bathroom so even now if uh, she doesn't want to be alone and I have to take her with me to the bathroom. She really enjoys bouncing on this chair. Uh, so it's almost two years we've been using this chair and I really love it, I really adore it and it has like the perfect Scandinavian design. Next baby chair that we are actually also still using is the Stokia Trip Trap chair. And the thing was I didn't want to have this baby chair which looks like a baby chair because normally they're made out of plastic and when you uh, come into an apartment and see a chair like this then you know directly then th that there is a baby in it because this chair like pops out but the stocky chair actually suits our apartment very much it looks like a normal chair because it's made up out of wood it has also like this very delicate Scandinavian design and the coolest thing about this chair is that you can adjust it to the age of your child. So when your child is like a baby, it's small, it cannot sit yet. Then you have this baby adjustment for the stocky chair. And we've actually been using it a lot, especially when we were eating, when we were having dinner, when we were having breakfast with my husband, uh, then the baby was lying in the stocky chair and it looked like it's sitting at the table with us it looked like it's she's a part of our dinner or our breakfast or for example when I was when I was cooking in the kitchen and she was lying in the stocky baby adjustment then I could entertain her uh, without bending over for example to this baby beyond bounce because the stocky chair is high so the baby is lying like almost on your level so i could cook and entertain her somehow without bending over now we're using it as a chair where she is eating and when she'll get older and she won't need like this safety belt anymore then uh, we could put it away and use it like a normal high chair for the baby so i think that's a perfect investment Next thing was literally the most used product, it was the baby carrier. My daughter didn't want to sleep in her buggy or in her bed during the daytime till she was six months old. She only wanted to sleep on me. And in the first month I actually sat 
on the couch and she was sleeping on me or I lied on the bed and she was sleeping on me and of course it it's driven me crazy so we bought like this baby carrier and in the first time i didn't want to buy it i thought that my baby will sleep in a buggy like all babies but she didn't like the buggy at all and this carrier i had the one from ergo baby but i think it's not very important uh, which one exactly you buy may think that it's not like the cheap one because it has to be like ergonomic for your baby and also for yourself because uh, otherwise you have like some back pain i didn't have any of this i loved this baby carrier i actually miss it now because now my daughter is too heavy for it uh, but um, i really liked uh, taking a walk uh, with her in the baby carrier uh, rather than in a buggy because it's much more easier to have a walk when your baby is on yourself and you don't have to run everywhere with this buggy and also in the first month when baby is sleeping like very often uh, then you don't have to go every time outside for her to sleep she can sleep on yourself in the carrier and you can do some things around the house you can cook you can clean up I even made some videos for my Russian YouTube channel when she was sleeping on me. So if your baby wants to sleep only on you, then, then get yourself a carrier. It will save your life. The next thing that we've been using a lot was a play mat. It was a jungle play mat from Fisher Price. And I can really suggest buying this one. My advice is to buy a square mat or a round mat. We also had one which had an oval shape. And the problem of this one was that in the middle there was not enough space for a baby to turn over to her tummy. Keep that in mind when you're choosing this playmat that it's better for baby to have some space in all directions. The best thing about this playmat was that it helped my daughter to learn herself how to turn over from her back to her tummy. Because when she was lying on her back on this playmat, you could actually adjust some toys to the corners of this play mat and she was trying to reach them with her arms. After several weeks of trying, she actually turned over to her tummy and uh, that was it. So I didn't have to help her. I didn't have to motivate her in some other ways. I didn't have to hold some toys by myself trying to motivate her to turn over. The play mat did all the work for me, so I think that's actually the perfect toy that not only entertains your child but also helps it to develop like physically and my number five product which i actually suggest to invest in is a good expensive changing table i see that now many people are buying like some cheap changing tables because they think that they will not be using them uh, for a long time but actually it was and it's still is the most used piece of furniture in my house and you are changing your baby so often then you should enjoy the quality of the table i was keeping so many heavy products in the drawers like big packages of, of pampers of some sheets and so on you have a lot of stuff for your baby i didn't have to worry that my drawers will break because the stuff is too heavy i didn't have to worry that my drawers will broke because i'm putting them in and out all the time like 100 times a day it still is in the perfect shape and even when uh, my baby is potty trained i can remove like this changing area and use it like a normal drawer it has a lot of space i'm keeping all her clothes in there if you want me to show you how i organized my changing table then please write it down below in the comments and i will make it for sure for you my changing table was from a german firm uh, named pinolino it had like a very good wood quality i love this changing table it looks good it works well for us it has a lot of space so yes my personal advice is not to buy like some cheap table because actually you will be using it more often even than your crib and then your buggy yes these were my top five baby essentials i hope you like this video if so please give me a thumbs up down below subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye bye